Hello and welcome my fellow homo sapien friends and today we are doing a six weapon must haves in Far Cry 5. Now these are obviously just the six weapons that I chose because I enjoyed using them or that they had specific perks or extra damage that would help me out when taking down certain areas. So first off we've got the Magno Pulsar. Now this gun is only available when completing a side mission for Larry. Now it's about a three part side mission so it's a, it's a fair, fair amount to do on it. It's actually a really fun weapon to use. Now as far as damage goes it's pretty freaking useless to be honest like you can't kill any big animals, you can't blow up any cars, it does absolutely no damage to the angels whatsoever. So like you're thinking then why is it in your top must haves? Well, it's a really fun gun to use, if I'm honest, because it may not be able to, like, blow up cars and stuff like that, but it can certainly, like, throw bigger enemies around, it can blast cars to stop them, at least stun them for a bit, it can hit cars and make them move a little. It can actually, if you're, if you get close enough to a Peggy or an animal, it actually, like a small animal anyway, it just obliterates them, like it, it just doesn't leave any trace of them behind, so it's pretty fun in that sort of aspect, and uh, there's a clip here of um, me just bouncing a bear in the air with the gun, so yeah, as far as damage goes, it's absolutely really, really shit, and not really much good for anything, but for fun element in the game, it's, it's brilliant. And it's, it's worth doing the side quest just for the, the fun of it, really. Next up, we've got the Rat 4, which is obviously a rocket launcher. Now, you can upgrade this with a tracker that lets you fire rockets that home in on vehicles. Now, this is really good for taking down planes and helicopters, and sometimes vehicles, if needed. The only issue I have is when you're trying to track down the plane or the helicopter, it takes a while for it to lock on. It basically you have to, got to keep it into the little box, the, the crosshair box that you've got. And obviously, once you've once it's moved out of the box, you've got to do it again. And it's just it's just so aggravating when you you've got other things shooting at you and stuff like that. You just want to lock on instantly and just fire away. So for probably realism, it, it's actually really good for that sort of stuff. But for practicality, it's really annoying because all you want to do is just fire it. But obviously, once it's locked on, you just sit back and enjoy the fireworks because it just blows up and then you just watch the plane or helicopter fall to the ground and blow. So it, it's good for that sort of thing, you know. I, I don't really use it that often, if I'm honest, because once you picked up Herc as one of your guns for hire, he pretty much does it for you anyway. So. It, it, it's a good gun if you want to like blow shit up yourself but you know you can always use Herc for that if you really needed to but I've just put it in here because it is a practical gun and it's the only rocket launcher in the game that has tracking on it so it's pretty useful. Moving on from there we've got the M79 Shark Shooter. This is a one handed grenade launcher that comes in very handy when driving and being hunted down by Peggy vehicles, especially ones with the turret on top. Now it takes about two shots to blow anything up, especially with the vehicles. So if you want to use a grenade launcher, this is really handy for when you're driving and it frees up a lot of your spaces, especially if you've got all three slots unlocked. You want heavier weapons, like say like you, your LMGs or your rocket launchers and stuff like that. And it's really handy for that sort of thing. So you've still got something that does explosive damage, but you can still have like your shotguns, your LMGs and your bows and stuff like that as in the other three slots. So, so it does come in handy really for that sort of thing. And it does look pretty cool as well. So moving on from there, we've got another quest weapon. It's the D2 Sin Eater. Now, I wasn't too keen on this originally, however, I equipped it just to give it a try because I was trying out all the weapons to see which ones I preferred, so I did a proper thorough test of each weapon before I put them into the video, so that I could get a clearer picture of the six that I actually wanted to put in. This one-handed shotgun only carries two bullets in the chamber at a time, but honestly, I don't think it needs any more because it absolutely destroys anything that gets in its way. Now obviously this is great for close range, so it would be more damaging for uh, enemies and stuff like that in front of you, but it, it does actually have a quite a good range on it, because I fired it from quite a distance, and normally a shotgun doesn't really do that much damage when you fire it away, but it's still doing a significant amount of damage 
the further you stood back. So there is quite a range on it as well and obviously it's one handed so you can use it while you're driving which obviously does a lot of damage to the vehicles as well. So it, it's really handy having that sort of thing in your inventory and it just looks really cool as well. Next up we've got the M60. Now in my opinion this is probably the best machine gun in the game. High damage, massive magazine, rapid fire, not sure why you'd want a silencer on it but hey give it a go anyway to see if it works. I don't think it will because you'll be firing so many bullets it, it, it won't really re reduce the sort of noise that you make with it. But this gun is absolutely great for when you have to hold an area or have many peggies around you. This handheld turret makes you feel like you're Arnold Schwarzenegger from the movie Commando which personally is one of my favourite Arnold Schwarzenegger films. And last but not least we've got the recurve bow. Now I never thought I would have a bow in this list as I am not very good with them usually. However I have become Hawkeye overnight. This was the only weapon I never took out of my weapon wheel. Even when I only had the one slot this was the only weapon I had in it. So why did I never get rid of it you say? Well it's silent, deadly and also comes with incendiary and explosive arrows once you've unlocked the black market perk. The range of this weapon is great as well. Normally one shot one kill, headshots obviously the only way you can kill angels so it's perfect for those especially as they get alerted every time you kill one so having that sort of silence on your side and the surprise attack on your side is very very handy for you. Now and also the plus you can also pick your arrows up from the dead peggies which is also a great bonus because you can just keep getting your ammo back so you're not having to restock ammo all the time with it so it's absolutely fantastic for that. Now obviously these are just the weapons that I found were absolutely stunning in the game and I got on really well with. Now if there's a particular gun in the game that you found was really good, really practical, really fun and I've missed it out on this list why don't you comment me down below and let me know what you think of this video and the weapons that I've missed out that you thought should have been in the video. Now as always if you did enjoy this video please give it a like it really does help this channel out and it helps it grow which is obviously my main goal at the end of the day to do this permanently and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new to it and and also hit that bell next to it and then it notifies you every time I post a video. Now thank you very much for watching this video as always and take care of yourself and others and bye bye for now.